Hi everyone, uh, this is Liz with Liz Patrol Photography and uh, today what I wanted to do is actually give a review of a product and in my head I think oh I'm going to do this a lot when I find great places or great products but I have a camera bag that I love and use so much that uh, it's finally time that uh, I tell the world about it and people out there have left reviews which is why I got it and uh, I want to help you get it too and I haven't I've had this bag for um, a year and it's currently just full of the stuff that I used it for and today so this is not um, this is just real life okay so it can I want to show you what this bag can actually do this is actually my second um, bag of this and I can kind of explain that in a little bit I had the red one previously which was like this awesome color kind of uh, red tinge almost like kind of like this kind of color um, but really great so I've got this great uh, Lower Pro Photo Hatchback uh, 22 uh, liter AW. So that's the bag I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, and it's just like standard backpack size. You can find the exact dimensions online. But here you can see I've got a 12 ounce water bottle in here. I've just got uh, some gloves that I had earlier in the day in there. So in the back, you can see uh, that you have the zipper to get in to the bag. You've got a zipper here with a flat panel and a divider. So I've put anything in there from, currently I have my uh, iPad Air in there, which they say just tablet, but I've been able to um, make this work, which has allowed me to travel with this bag in, in airports or for work. Uh, it's really, really incredible, um, in addition to going hiking with it, but it really can traverse all these different environments, whether it's airline travel or going to the office for the day. And it's allowed me to really uh, carry my cameras around with me while I do other other things. Just my, I always have my cameras with me in case, because um, you just never know when there's going to be a, I love, I love documentary photography, so you never know when there's going to be an amazing sight, amazing sunset, um, something cool just happening in your environment. So as much as possible, I like to carry around my cameras with me. So there's a top main pouch up here, and if we just open this up, and you can see kind of how wide it opens up. And just see, I've got, uh, I've got one camera strap, two camera straps, because honestly I don't use camera straps that much, but today I thought I was going to have... Uh, two camera bodies hanging off and so just in case um, I needed to switch for what I was doing I'm able to I've got a, a journal I've got a book letter from somebody phone charger um, I've got my fisheye lens in here um, some remnants from food that I was able to get in there more food kind of snack nuts uh, more kind of scraps and ends because I'm snacking as I go. Okay. I got iPad mini in there that fit in there. Just more up oh, some vitamins there. Um, I have a remote for my camera that I was able to fit in there. And so that is all what was in that main body kind of area. So really large. So if I know I'm going to hike, I wouldn't have a book with me. Um, I would have uh, my layers. I would have just lots of snacks and things like that. So inside, you'll see that there's a zipper here with a place to hook your keys, because if you've ever lost your keys, you know just that you want to keep them secure. So that goes inside of this inner zipper pouch. So those keys or anything that's really important like that that has a hook that you can clip away, it's great. So if I show inside of here, you have security for things, so I put some of my more important things. So I, that's where I have my um, my card, so SD cards and compact flash. I've got uh, cables here for my wireless camera here uh, going on top, so I can use that uh, wireless remote. Batteries in there. Money, business card from somebody I met chapstick for <laughs> it's winter time right now or I was just recently in California in the desert so I'm able to have those in there a couple of my um, mounts for my various tripods go in there um, a little wrench that allows me to uh, 
turn the key on there, so that's kind of my workaround for that. So if you look in there, so that's all the space in there. So I've got this big open pocket, and this pocket where I can just carry all my essentials. So that's where my wallet goes. Um, super, the super important things that I don't want to lose. Okay, and if we turn it around to the opposite side, look at all this stuff I still just have jammed in here. So I'm definitely a be prepared kind of person, and uh, that's evident. So runny nose, I'm set. Bad breath, I'm set. <laughs> I got my gum. Uh, business cards, I'm set. Dry hands, I'm set. So I told you I use this for traveling. So ginger, candy, oh my goodness motion sickness. It's so, so key. If the motion sickness is really bad, got my Dramamine. Anybody else get motion sickness? Holla. Um, bad breath. I'm set, guys, so my breath is good. Um, just even more. Gingers, Benadryls, Ibuprofen, Dramamine. So, again, this is like a bag that I just was traveling the last two weekends. I went to Utah. I went to L.A., and so I've just got all that stuff still in there. So I'm still reaching in this one pocket, still pulling out all these things. Altoids, fresh breath, here we come. <laughs> Ricola, cold weather, sore throat. I'm all good. So uh, just all around me is a ton of stuff getting uh, spread out. So this is real life, the things that I carry in here. Uh, here's uh, just some smaller notepads that I can sketch, keep ideas on. So again, right in that pocket. I like to snack as I go. So sporks and I can talk about that some other time but really like these guys the hand warmer external charger amazing can do a review about that as well later so good oh this is where that is dang there's so much stuff in there <laughs> I didn't know where this is so I got a flash drive and this is an important one because it's 32 gig so and also I've emptied it out in there so look at all that spacious spaciousness up top so we can just fill a ton of stuff in there so I told you I put my iPad in here, um, or rather my um, MacBook Air. So this is so I have to kind of let me turn around here a little bit so you can see. So I've opened it up. There's two pouches in there. I used to put it in the inner one, but I kind of that was really hard on the zipper because I am really pushing the limits of this bag by putting it in there. But phew, it's amazing. I had that in there. Okay. So as you see in there. There's a little sleeve. So if you have just a, oh, and I got something in there, got some mail I put in there, but I can put important papers in there. I can put magazines that won't get damaged and you can, so less padded on the outside, but there is some padding. There's also incredibly padding here on the bottom, which really is protecting those electronic devices. When I am, so that's again, when I'm heading to the office, uh, to a meeting, traveling, and I wanna bring my iPad along, Oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying iPad, but I really mean my uh, laptop when I want to bring my MacBook Air along. Uh, so that's the small kind of 13-inch guy. But if I'm just heading out into the woods, I can stick my jackets in here, my layers, my hats, my mittens. Uh, it's really, really great. Okay, so my bag is getting a lot lighter now. Oh, I still I put those gloves back in, but if we empty, empty those out, water bottle out, these are great too. So what is this pouch like in the bottom? Um, well, it's configurable to whatever you need. So I have used it in a bunch of different ways over the years. Currently, um, I have two bodies in here. So I have my uh, Canon 5D with my 24-105L. to uh, Great lens, very versatile, great camera. We can talk about those another time. But I had those all in there, so you can see I kind of have this set up and kind of uh, rigged up a little bit to work for my needs right now to have two bodies on with the lenses. And here's my 60D with the 50 millimeter uh, 1.4. So in this bag, you saw that I had two lenses or three lenses, two bodies, and a remote um, remote shutter release. So I was able to put a ton of camera specific equipment in here. I could have put even more. But as you maybe read about this, uh, you can take this out. So we've got this padded compartment. But I can take this out and maybe I was just going to the gym or something or traveling and don't need that and I can put 
clothes, food, anything. Zip that up. And now the bag is really nice and light. But I have this container that actually, if I put my cameras back in there, put my cameras back, okay, so this great space. And these have uh, Velcro on it, so that actually Velcroed into the bag. I feel like my Wisconsin was coming out there. That's one of the classic words, bag, that you're going to hear, and I'm from Wisconsin. But uh, look what I was able to do with this bag. I was able to... Uh, cinch it up and now I can carry around my lenses it's even got this handle so I'm ready off to go I can put this in another bag and have have padding and it's uh, just really really amazing versatile Loa Pro just really has outdone themselves with this bag I uh, had previous bag from them a little smaller and was really limited by the versatility of this so for me I love gear and bags that will transcend and this bag is uh, really really incredible for so many environments we haven't talked about fit at all so we'll zip zip it back up just to give it a little structure again it's got a nice structure on its own so even without that it's still holding its shape so this is one year of fairly heavy use i've taken it uh, to kenya for a few weeks i go hiking, uh, currently living in Portland, so I've taken it to the Cumbia River Gorge, I've taken it, taken it on plane rides all the time, uh, just any kind of hiking trips I'm going on, uh, this, this baby is uh, coming along with me. So it has, if we put it on, it's got great chest straps, which is adjustable here, so you can slide that just to stay in place. Just a quick pull, puts it right where you need it to be, and then it slides up and down. So for me, I'm small, so I've got it all the way up, but you can, you can slide them down for those of you that are a little bigger or want different placement. And then it's got a nice little strap here that holds this thing in place as well that I find really helpful. So same concept, you can... Just pull with a strap and then it's going to stay in place for each time you have it on and off. Obviously, if you change your layers, right now I'm in a t-shirt, so it's a little tighter than, or looser than um, I usually have a jacket on this time of year. But I can loosen it up just as easily. I'm on the go and then it just, you can see how it fits. It's just really great profile, flat. Uh, I don't even know what else to say. There's so much else. I fit uh, entire uh, Nalgies in here. Currently, I'm just showing you what I had in here today, but you can get entire Nalgene size so that those that's a liter, so, um, or the Clean Canteen, or um, what's the other brand? The Hydro Flask, the bigger ones, those will fit right in. You will see that after, after a year, um, I do have some wear and tear. Like, like I said, I'm using this bag. It's out there, but I still just love it. So great. So sometimes it's gotten snagged because I've been out in the woods and it's caught on a branch when it's fully, fully packed out. But I mean, it's such an incredible, incredible value. So I'm out in the forest, out in the woods. It's raining, out for the day, traveling. Guess what? There's a little pouch on the bottom. Can you see what that says? all weather cover or it's got just like a nice little icon there so there's a there's a fly built into this a rain cover and it's quite easy it stays attached the whole time so you're never going to lose it it's got a strap on the bottom so i'm just pulling it up and over it's going to be a little trickier just because now i took everything out of my bag so it's lacking a little bit of the structure in there so we stretch it around it's got this great velcro that you just slide around the strap back on itself okay and so I need to do the same thing on this side so it's got this velcro that holds it to itself you come around and now that's keeping the rain fly on in place so I think you can see the aesthetics of this bag are really nice and streamlined um, but it's really nice to not have to worry about your if you're out in the elements 
um, or just traveling and need to um, so don't have places where you can just keep your gear really secure from the elements, it's really nice to have a bag that has got your back and you don't need to be worrying about Ziploc bags and things like that, which I've had to do in the past. So thank you, Loa Pro, for that. Um, but yeah, just the aesthetic. The aesthetic is really sleek. I mean, it does say, you can see the Loa Pro here, but I think it's um, it's reflecting on the light here. But I think in general, it's pretty, um, it's not super in your face and not super obvious that it's a camera bag for people in the know. They're going to know Loa Pro. But I, I think it's not, um, it's not really clear. It just looks like, from the outside, it just looks like a standard backpack. And so I don't think it, I think just in terms of theft, it makes it a little bit uh, less likely to happen. And, you know, people aren't seeing, and the likelihood of somebody stealing, you know, it's not very likely unless you let the bag off of you because where your, where your gear is, is really towards your, to you on the backside. So you've got an area where you can hook here things and hang it off. That's my one complaint about this bag. So it's super versatile, but when I really do just want to be on the trail a little bit more for longer periods where the temperature is going to swing a little bit more, the elements are going to swing a little bit more when I am focusing on landscape photography and I need a tripod. If you have a really compact tripod, it can fold up and fit in one of the bags. But what I would love for there to be is some sort of strapping system here. And there's not. So you can put the tripod there. Like it, uh, you can also put it inside here. But I, I really like this for layering. But you can put, you, you make, you do you. You figure, you figure it out, you know, instead of having two, two cameras and lenses in there, what you can do is, you know, you can have, you can actually divide this in half. That's more classically how it's done. Have lens, lens, or um, you can have a battery charger. You know, I've, I've had it all in there. My battery charger, like all my, all my gear, different. I don't happen to have any filters in there right now because I was shooting inside. So I didn't need any of that today. But I can put, I can put that all in my bag. So I do recommend... Low Pro, and again, this is the Photo Hatchback, Photo Hatchback 22L AW. So, really great pack. I did mention at the beginning of the video that this is my second bag of this. Um, I would buy it again. I did have a little issue with the first bag, and really mad props to Low Pro and their customer service. So, you can also feel really good about that. I reached out to them and had to say, I love your bag, but actually, I'm not satisfied. With it, I had the that previous bag for two years, so I've owned this bag for three plus years, and I um, really, really can strongly recommend it, and hope you go out and buy it and support Loa Pro, and I feel really good about it with their customer service. I did, I had a problem my first bag with the zipper failing, and that just made this bag not useful for me to have a zipper here that didn't close. So do be careful if you do put a laptop in there because you will cause excessive wear to the zipper. Um, I guess in retrospect, knowing the size of what laptops are, if they just made it a few millimeters even bigger on either side, which I think is easy to do in this bag, it would make the, light, the laptop slide in there uh, really quite easily and then just makes it that, that much more attainable and purchasable for so many different uses. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment below about things either you like about the bag or if you have any questions and I'd be happy to ask. I kind of consider myself a pro with this bag after having it for so long and I know that so many reviews are written just like out of the box or having had them a couple weeks or months but I've had this bag for three years, three plus years and um, major thumbs up. So thanks so much for watching. Comment below if there's anything you want to know and I'll be happy to respond to you. Take care.